Hello, you are welcome to my channel, WASI 2023 Objective Questions. Question number 31 to 35 will be in this episode. The first one is asking, a woman pours 85 liters of kerosene into a cylindrical container with the radius being 7 centimeter. Calculate correct to the nearest centimeter the depth of the kerosene in the container. You know, the depth of the kerosene is referring to the height. Because if you have a cylindrical container and there's a kerosene inside, the depth of the kerosene is going to be the height of the kerosene. Then 85 liters is the volume of the kerosene, meaning the volume is mentioned. Therefore, the volume of a cylinder will make use of the radius and that of four, the height. So we can be able to find the height since the radius is known. So what do we do? We are going to start by saying that one liter equals to 1,000 centimeter cube in terms of convection. So if one is given as this, then we expect 85 liters to be more. So if more, less divide. So 85 will multiply 1,000 centimeter cube and that will give us 85,000 centimeter cube. That becomes the volume. And we know volume of a cylinder is given by pi r square h, where the h is the depth of the kerosene. So per substitution, what do we do? We have 85,000 is equals to pi, which is 22 on 7, the radius, which is 7 times 7 times what? The height per substitution. The radius is 7, so 7 squared, meaning 7 times 7. I believe this will cancel this. I believe if 85,000 equals to 154, 7 times 22, age. So 154, 154. This will cancel. It means the age is going to mean if we divide 85,000 by this, and that will give us 551.98948. But we are asked to write the answer in the nearest centimeter, meaning the depth of kerosene is going to be 552 centimeters to the nearest whole number. This is more than five, so we add it to this as one to become 552 centimeters is the height or the depth of kerosene in the container. Number 32, the lines 3x plus 2y equals to x and y equals to 2x minus 5 intersect at the point P, x, y. Find the coordinate of the point P. So if two lines intersect, then it means the solution of their, uh, the solving of the two equations simultaneously, their solution becomes the intersection of the two points. Because if they are intersecting, more or less like a graphical uh, method of solving a simultaneous equation. So their point of intersection becomes their solution of the two equations. So now I'll be solving the first one and the second one simultaneously, meaning 3x, 2y equals 4 as the first equation. I'm having 2x as being at the right there. This will come to become minus y. This will now come to the place of y to become equals to positive 2. I'm only rearranging it with a constant being at the right. All right. Now, under this, we can do Kramer's method. We can do substitution elimination. I will go for elimination. I've talked about all the three methods in one of my episodes. So you can check it out. So what do we do? I want to eliminate y. So I want to make sure they have the same coefficient. So I'll use this two to multiply the whole of equation two. Meaning this is going to mean that equation two by two. That will be 4x minus 2y equals to 10. That becomes equation 3. So I'm solving equation 3 and equation 1 simultaneously. 
What do I do? I will only add because I want to eliminate y. So add equation 1 plus equation 2. 3 plus 4. 7x. This will give you 0. Equals to 14. Since I'm looking for that of x. I divide by 7. Divide by 7. If you cancel, your x will be equals to 2. Meaning the value of x in this case is 2. What do we do? We substitute back into any of the equations. Picking equation 2. I'll be having 2x, which is 2 minus y equals to what? 5. How will I do? I'm going to multiply to get 4 minus y equals to 5. This is going that this is coming. So 4 minus 5 equals y, meaning y is going to be negative 1. So the point P, the value of x is 2. The value of y is negative 1. Do you get it? So that is the point of intersection. Question 33. In the first year, Mr. Kwachi's annual salary was $1,560. His salary was increased each year by a constant value of y until it was $13,980 in the 13th year. So calculate the value of y. If you read the question carefully, you will see that if we are beginning from this year, this is going to be the first number or the first salary. Every year there will be y amount of dollars added to this. It means that if I add y being 1, if I add 1 to this, it's going to be 1,561. I'll add 1 to that, 1,562. You see that the common difference will be 1, 1, 1, which will be your y. So this is generating a series for us. So we can say that the first term could be 1,560. The second term is going to be 1,560 plus y. That's the second term. The third term will be the double of this, meaning all of this plus y become 2y. All this is continuing until we get a 13th term, which will be 13,980. Don't forget, this is also the last term. So this is a linear sequence. First term, common difference of y, the last term. Using un equals to l equals to a plus n minus 1d. You remember that formula by record. This is standing for the last term. This is standing in for the number of terms. In this case, it's 13th. But we have a last term. Alright. I can put here 13th. Which is the last term here. I can also use this. So now I'll be having 13,980 equals to A. First term. 1560 plus N. Which is the 13th term. 13th term. Minus 1. That will be 13 minus 1. That will be 12. So 12 times D. What is the D? The common difference is the Y. So I have this. A linear equation is generated. What about this? We we'll come here. As in 13, 9, 8, 0, 1, 5, 6, 0 equals to 12 Y. So we are going to subtract this from this. And that will give us 1, 2, 4, 2, 0 equals to 12 Y. We are looking for the Y, right? So divide by 12. Divide by 12. Y is going to be 1,035. So therefore, Y is going to be in dollars. $1,035. Meaning, this is the value of money that will be added to his salary every year. That is the common difference. Question 34. If log X equals to 2 minus 3 log 2, find the value of X. You know when logarithm is written without a base, it is in base 10. So this is in base 10. So I can rewrite this using the property that says that a log of a number to the same base is 1. I can use it to write this. So this log X 
2 log 2 I can write this as log x equals to log 10 2 log 10 minus 3 log 2 you know this they are all in base 10 so log 10 base 10 will give us what 1 1 times 2 will still be 2 so I have not changed the value I only bring in the property of logarithm. The third law says that when a number multiplies a log, it becomes an exponent. So this becomes the log x equals to log of 10 squared minus the log of 2 to the power 3. I believe we can have logarithm of x equals to log 100 minus log 8. And the second law of division says that if I am subtracting a logarithm, I can divide the argument. So this means log x equals to log 100 divided by 8. And I believe you can see logarithm at both sides. So we take the anti-log of both sides, meaning x will be equal to 100 out of 8. 4 can go here, 25, and go here, 2. So on the possible answers, the answers were left in fraction form. So this is going to be 25 divided by 2 as the value of x. Question 35. A woman bought a washing machine for $18,000 if the exchange rate is $0.048 to 1 Naira. Find in Naira the cost of what? The machine. We can do a simple ratio here. Seeing dollar and dollar is here. So I'll say if 0 0.045 is giving me a dollar of 18,000, then I expect one to give me more. Because in comparison between this and the one dollar, one dollar is more in terms of value than this. So I expected to have more value than 18,000. So if more Let's divide. 1 divided by 0 0.048 times 18,000. This is 4, 5. As we have there. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3. That will be 1 divided by 45 divided by 1,000, right? This is 1, 2, 3. So double division. The 100, the 1,000 goes up. To multiply the 18,000. So this is going to be 1,045, 18,000. So what do we do? We can use 5 or even 45 to cancel and get our answer. And that will give us 400,000. Therefore, we are going to say that this is going to be in, uh, how do you call it, in Nara. Therefore, we have. 400,000 naras. So if you are having an exchange range of 1 naira equals to 0 0.045 dollars, if you are paying 18,000 dollars, if you convert it, it becomes what? 400,000 naira. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.